when it comes to confusing financial topics, Social Security may be at the top of the list. More than 59 million Americans receive the retirement benefits right now, but a new survey shows most don't know much about it. Let's bring in certified financial planner Joe Burt to break down some of those survey questions. Joe, this is shocking. Yep. That it, people just don't get it. Well, it's one of the biggest financial decisions you have to make when you retire, and oftentimes people make the wrong one. Unfortunately, Social Security can tell you what your options are, right. but they cannot and won't tell you what's best for you and your family. Oof. All right, let's yep. start getting through these because we have a lot. Yep. First, true or false, Social Security retirement benefits are based on my earnings history, so I'll receive the same monthly benefit no matter when I start collecting. Now, if you retire at early at age 62, you can take a 25% reduction in what you're entitled to, and your benefit will increase by cost of living, but if you take it early, you're stuck with that lower amount. True or false, if my spouse dies, I will continue receiving both my own benefit and my deceased spouse's benefit. No, you get the higher of the two. You get your spouse's or yours, whichever is higher. Mm. All right, true or false, I must be a U.S. citizen to collect Social Security retirement benefits. False. You, if you really? Are, yeah, if you're paying into the system, you're entitled to benefits, even though you're not a citizen. Wow. <laughs> true or false, under current... Now you know so why it's going broke. No kidding. <laughs> under current Social Security law, full retirement age is 65? No. It depends on when you were born, of course. If you are born between 43 and 54, full retirement age is now 66. If you are born after age 60, full retirement age is 67. Oh, true or false. I can continue working while collecting my full Social Security retirement benefits regardless of my age. No, if you retire early between 62 and your full retirement age, you're going to give back $1 for every two that you earn. So if you, if you are still working after age 62, be, between then and your full retirement age, you'll give some of it back. You really need yeah. to think about the right. math there. True or false, if I file for retirement benefits and have minor dependent children, they also may qualify for Social Security benefits. That's correct. Under the age of 18, 19, and there's some provisions for if you're disabled. All right. True or false, as a divorced person, I can collect Social Security retirement benefits based on my ex-spouse's earnings history. Yes, it depends. Now, if you're remarried, not, but if you have to have been married at least 10 years, you can't collect on your ex-spouse. All right. True or false. And it doesn't affect yeah. his, his or her benefit. Okay. Once I start collecting Social Security, my benefit payments will never change. No, they will increase once again with cost of living. And once again, if your spouse dies and your spouse was getting a higher benefit, you'll get his or her benefit. Okay. True or false, government workers may have their Social Security retirement benefits reduced. That is true. They are subject. Some of, some of them are retire, uh, have an offset, so, so they may not get all their full re uh, Social Security benefits. That's scary. Right? True or false, my spouse can qualify for Social Security retirement benefits even if he or she has no individual earnings history. That's correct. Even though you may not have worked a day in your life, you may be entitled to half of your spouse's benefits. Wow. Yep. All right, so I know that these, a lot of people are a little bit shocked about the, the results of this survey. Right. What shocks you the most in all of this? How people go into Social Security, Tom, and they make a decision, and it's the wrong decision. Like I said, there are literally hundreds of different choices that you have, different combinations, and we do financial planning. It's one of the biggest things we look at. What's the best way for you, and when's the best time to claim your benefits? If you wait till age 70, if you wait till age 70, you get an automatic increase every year between your full retirement age and age 70 of 8% per year, plus any cost of living. So and if you can hold out exactly, those three years. Exactly. And what we want to do when we do financial planning is how can you do that? Because it's that benefit that you get right. for your lifetime. And when you pass away, it'll go to your spouse. All right. Yeah, I know you want to tell people about a website. Yeah, go to, our website. go to our website, financialgroup.com. There's a, there's a link there for how to ma maximize your Social Security benefits. And it's right there. Once again, financialgroup.com. And help guide you right, right.